How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the border wall construction that's happening all up and down the border of U.S. and Mexico. But we need to be specifically focused on a small piece of the border wall that's being constructed and funded privately in the El Paso, Texas area. Now, we got to back up a little bit here to explain what's going on before I get to the private border funding and construction in El Paso. Now, there's plenty of border walls, barriers or whatever you want to call them that exist on the border right now. Long before Trump came into office, some county cities that are close to the border have constructed their own version of the wall for their own security. The problem is a lot of these walls aren't really walls at all. They're like low fences. They're old, dilapidated, incomplete. They need to be rebuilt. They need to have uh, extensions put on them. So as of right now, we're fixing those and adding new pieces to make it be more secure. This is the case in El Paso. There's currently a wall right there. It's been there long before Trump came. Um, the citizens of El Paso voted to have that wall between them and in the town across the border, which is Juarez, very dangerous part of Mexico, but that's a different story, and I digress. The problem with the wall as it exists right now is that there's a half a mile gap in between that wall and a mountain. El Paso is in Texas, but it also is like on the border of New Mexico, as well as Mexico itself. It's kind of weird, but anyway, this half mile gap had been a big, uh, basically, route for drug and gun and human smugglers for a long period of time. So some private people contracted a private company to build this wall on private land, and they've been able to have some success. And I'll play some footage on the screen before you of the construction. Over a three-day weekend, Memorial Day weekend, they're working night and day to get a lot done and they're almost completely finished with this about half a mile stretch which is very important because it closes that gap in between the existing wall and the mountain which you're not really going to be able to climb and get over the border but moving right along do you guys remember that gofundme for the border wall funding remember that remember the triple amputee brian kovich and his partner i think is chris kobach okay they were trying to get the wall funded privately and send the money to congress to help them get the wall funded it was this whole big thing with trump trying to get money from a congress they're not really with it he's saying he needs five billion they're gonna give him 1.6 he most recently declared a state of emergency to try and divert money from the defense department to build a wall but a federal judge has blocked that for now so they were trying to fund it privately to give to the government but for some reason they were not able to give the money to the government. I'm not really sure what the ins and outs of that are, but that was the case. So rather than trying to give money to the government, they started an LLC, if I'm not mistaken, called We Build the Wall. And that's a website called WeBuildTheWall.us. You can see everything about them. So they decided to give a wall construction company the money privately, and they found some private land, and they built the wall right there. So there you have it. Now, according to what I've been reading, the cost for the U.S. government to build the wall is about $22 million per mile. They have constructed a half mile for about six to eight million. So it seems like they've got it done cheaper and more efficiently. Also, the government was using the kind of steel that was only going to last like 25 years, but this company has used better steel that'll last 75 years. Okay, so maybe we should have more private companies doing something like this. More GoFundMe's out there to build certain pieces of the wall, uh, certain security measures. Maybe that might make sense. You can get it done for cheaper, more efficiently, faster. And also, you can do things that the government says you can't do. The Army Corps of Engineers said that this site was not suitable to build any kind of wall or barrier or fencing, whatever the case, because of the geography is too steep, whatever. But they got it done. Apparently, the Army Corps of Engineers was wrong. All right. So that's that. Now, to move right along, there's still more of the wall being built by the government. 
maybe in a less efficient way, obviously, because you get the private guys doing it well. But Sarah Huckabee Sanders said, uh, contrary to popular belief, they're talking about, oh, it's only been two miles built. No, we're talking about 100 to 115 miles that have already been built. Now, some of that may include, quote unquote, renovation of existing structures. But if you have this little foot tall uh, uh, garden fence on the border, is that a wall? If you take out the one foot, two foot tall garden fence and put up an 18 foot steel ballard wall, that's a whole big difference. You know, it's, it's night and day as it relates to security. And if you're closing up certain gaps where walls end, I mean, that is a big measure to security because the wall itself is already right. That doesn't matter if you got this big gap on one side of it where everybody comes through. All they're going to do is just simply walk around that and go through the gap. It's like a road. There's a lot of wall being built right now by the government, and we're on track to have about 500 miles completed by the end of the year. And I hope that we have more of these private companies uh, that we built. The wall people still have plenty of money left. They raised about 22 million and it's an ongoing campaign. As far as I know, the wall that they built costs 8 million. So you got what about $14 million left. You can build another one of those walls you built over the weekend and more. And, the steepness, the geography made the project cost more. So what if it wasn't as steep and just rugged? They could have built it for six million, four million. So they got plenty of money to do more. And I hope you have these people, we built the wall, dot US, construct more of the wall whenever they can. This was on a private piece of property. I suppose they got permission from the people to build it right there. And maybe they'll be able to do the same thing all throughout the United States right there on the border. Maybe some more in Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California, to refurb some existing structures and create new ones where a need arises. So that is pretty much all I got. A lot of people are getting on my back talking about where is the wall at? He promised the wall, ain't no wall. Well, the wall's being built, but be patient because Rome was not built in the day. So that's pretty much all I got. What say you? Do you think that the wall will be built completely in a place where it's actually able to do so? Because some places its geography is not really suitable. But do you think that this promise of Trump will actually come to fruition? If that's your thought process, let me know why in the comments below. Or do you think that it won't come to fruition? Is he just, you know, a, a, a selling the dream? It ain't going to happen. What is your opinion about the wall? Is it inhumane? Is it something that we need for security? How do you think the wall will impact us going forward? Will it create a safer nation, a more dangerous nation? How about those that are on the other side? You know, is it going to stop the caravans from coming? I hope that it does. We can't afford to have thousands of people wash across our shores <laughs> that are sick, uh, you know, with no skills, can't speak English. It's like, come on. Let's get some security to our nation. Let's get a real wall and let's be sovereign as we are and not just a nation that can be overrun by invaders from the South. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.